Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do one of my favorite CSS tutorials in Free Code Camp. You're going to make a CSS heartbeat using an infinite animation count. I actually uh, did this, I've, I've, I've added this uh, project as part of uh, my portfolio because I liked the way that it looked so much. But um, basically, uh, here's one more continuous animation example. So this is following up from the ones that we've done before. Animation iteration count. Uh, property that uses the heart design in the previous challenge. Remember making this heart? It's the, it's the circle, the circle, and then there's a, or well, there's a circle. I think it's a circle and then a circle kind of a square shape here. And that's what makes up this heart shape. Uh, the one second long heartbeat animation consists of two animated pieces. Oh, that's what it's saying. Uh, the before and after pieces, you can see the heart. This is the after, this is that square piece and then before. Um, and then there's the back element. Um, so. The, uh, the heart elements, including before and after pieces, are animated to change size using the transform property. And the background div is, an anim is animated to change its color using the background property. So the background is this entire white area here. Um, and then the other two pieces are the heart pieces. Um, so keep the heart beating by adding animation iteration count property for both the back class, which means um, right here, back meaning the uh, animation behind it, and then the heart after class, which means this one right here. Um, they do not need any animation properties. Okay, so the animation iteration count property for heart class should have a value of infinite. So we're going to find heart, and then we're, what we're trying to do here is we're just going to set the animation iteration count to See, it, it repeats right now, but it just did twice. So that just had, it. so it just did it for one second. It just went in and out. But once we set this to infinite, it's going to keep continuously throbbing. Isn't that great? Now you see, if you notice right now, it's just the, the heart is throbbing. But what we can do also, what this is also calling for is making it so that the background, meaning this white area throbs as well uh, with this white uh, or with this pink color. So here we're going to write animation iteration count is equal to infinite. And then now you can see it's starting to do that. So it's got the pink in the background as well, which I think is really cool because it, uh, it gives it this kind of like all encompassing look. Um, if we run the test, we'll see that it passes. Uh, okay, cool. So before we go any further, I just wanted to talk about things. Um, the background is, it's just background padding margin top left. This just means that it fills the whole area. The height is 100% and the width is 100%. The background's white. And then so um, the animation name is back div. And so if we come down here, we see that the back div is assigned here. And this color right here is this dark pink color that we see if it, um, as it fades out. So at 50%, it goes to here. And because we set the animation duration, so every one second, one, two, three, it goes pink, white, pink, white, pink, white. And because we set the inf animation iteration count to infinite, it's going to continuously do that uh, for eternity. Um, the heart has the same thing. We have the position absolute, we have the height width, uh, we've rotated part of it, and then we call the animation name beat. What does beat mean? Beat just correlates with this keyframe here, which means it translates, so it scales from one, rotates at negative 45 degrees, and then down to 0.6 with the same rotation. So it goes from one to 0.6. So it it loses 40% of its size each second. And so the animation name, it, it does that, the duration for one second, and then it does that infinitely. So that's what this code does. Hope that makes sense. Um, as you can see, the test still passed. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you in the next one.